Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how a 16 by 16 bit ALU has been designed. I've created an ALU block. This is the main ALU block. Which I've created using a hierarchical block. Just give the reference name as ALU and implementation type as schematic and even the implementation type as ALU and settings as default and click on OK. I then after OK just drag your file and create a block of ALU. As I already created a block ALU you can just drag it like this and create a block for yourselves. Then just select the block And go to high place and hierarchical pin. Sell, give the name. If it's a bus, give, give first select the bus, then give the name. Like here, I'm using 15, 16 bit bus, so I need a 16 is to z 15 is to 0 and input as and if it is an input, give it as input. And if it is an output, demo give it as an output and click on OK. Your bits have been created, and here I have created A and B and s and e as the inputs a is the input bit input 16 bit and b is also an input 16 bit s is the switch selection for which mux should be operated on and e is the enable for the mux to be activated and here is the output being given to a mux and also carry for addition and subtraction i have the function inside the alu i have and NAND OR NOR XOR XNOR ADD and subtraction eight functions all together when you click double click on the ALU created you get uh, another block with S E A and B and also out out zero to out fifty out zero to out fifteen blocks have been created for you because of the hierarchical block creation after that you create an AND block similar way how you created an ALU just you need to plug in two inputs A and B and AND 0 to AND 15 because it has 16 bit output when you double click on AND you have the AND circuit which has 16, 16 ANDs been clubbed up with 15, 16 bit input and 16 bit input A and B's and AND 0 to AND 15 are the outputs of the AND gate. Similarly for the NAND 2 or NOR, XOR, XNOR and XNOR. When coming to the adder part, you have two inputs and you have a carry also been carried for adder. And for subtractor even, you have a borrow but I have placed, I have named it as CRY. It's fine whatever the name you want, you are comfortable with. For adder block, you have I have used an inbuilt, inbuilt IC7483 which has 4 XORs been clubbed up as shown here and I have a MUX block created over here which has inputs of all the all the 8 functions and also I, I need 0 to 15 outs because I have a 16 bit output. When you double click on the MUX, you get an internal circuit diagram of the MUX. For each of the MUX, it, this is a 16 by 1 multiplexer, 74151 is a 16 by, 16 by 1 multiplexer, 74150 is an 8 bit multiplexer, 8 by 1 multiplexer, sorry. While creating the multiplexer, you need to parallelly give inputs not serially like AND0 should be given to the first first MUX and AND1 to the second and AND2 to the third like that simultaneously for 16 MUXs and for the second and for the I1 here over here the pin number 3 is given NAND0 and for the next mu for the next MUX even I1 NAND1 NAND like that you should be giving it parallelly not serially for the same MUX giving AND0 to AND15 NAND0 to NAND15 instead that's a big big mistake everyone does even me I have done that 
you should be careful by doing while giving the page connectors of page connectors I mean so this is the my max block and I have an extra max been created for addition and subtraction carry see here I named it clearly for add carry and subtractor instead of borrow I use the same word carry while you run I'm just going to run the program and show you the output for the inputs which I have given and I'll show you the inputs A is 0023 and B is 0062 you can see over here if you have any confusion with the hexadecimal value just wherever you have given the probe just double click on the value and give semicolon semicolon D you get the value in decimal if you want it binary just give B value over here semicolon semicolon B it give you binary value and this is this is the input A and this is input B and this is the switch selection while switch 0 it shows AND and switch 1 AND switch 2 it shows OR XOR XNOR XOR XNOR XOR XNOR simultaneously I have given only for 5 functions if you need to demonstrate it for more than I have like 8 functions so you just need to give I am giving the format easier so that I don't get everyone don't get confused for 10 microseconds one As you can as you can see here the input is 23 and 62 in hexadecimal value and for and operation is 22 and for as you can see here NAND and NOR operation as you can increase the step size I'll show you how to increase the step size over here and how you can display outputs just here yeah, repeat like two times and this function tells you from zero second and up and repeat two times 
and after 10 microseconds your cursor is being increased by one value and just and repeat you can increase your switch function from 0 to 7 as you can clearly see in this function how it's been increased by automatically after 10 microseconds it's been increased to 1 and after 20 after 10 to 20 20 to 30 like that it's been increased by one value now i'll show you how to construct an alu for a 4 bit alu using the transistor gates similar way how we constructed a 16 by 16 bit ALU we can also demonstrate uh, construct a 4 bit ALU using the transistor gates similar way a hierarchical block is created with A and B as two inputs and switch selection and for enable I give an enable and when you go over here I have given an AND, NAND, OR, NOR, XOR, XNOR, NOT A, NOT B, ADD and SUBTRACT and I have given a LOW ENABLE because to activate uh, my MUX is an active LOW MUX so I given a low to get it activated so I created AND NAND with a 4 bit for AND this is the uh, the 0th bit and 1 bit AND circuit which has been constructed using 2N2222 I transistor which two transistors are connected in series together in bit and also a, a parallel resistance has been added for 2 bits that is not a and b and this is the output of the of output bit of the and gate like that similar way i have created four and gates parallelly so that i have created a four bit and circuit and for nand this is the nand circuit i have created over here and these are two nand gates two transistors with 2N22IC and this is the input for NAND and this is another input for NAND and this is the output of the NAND similar way I created another 4 bits for the NAND I parallelly now I'll show you for the OR gate this is the OR circuit which I have created and these are the two inputs A, B and A0 similar way you create A1, A2 and A3 B1, B2 and B3 and this is the output o OR3, OR2, OR1 and OR0 the naming should be given accordingly and this is the NOR gate which I have created for one bit similarly I added the next three parallelly A and B are the inputs and NOR is NOR3 is the output of the NOR gate and this is the XOR and this is for X NOR gate I have created for the one bit and then parallelly added the other three bits simultaneously for NOT A I have created one of these and one only just one input for the NOT gate it just inverts so I created one input and one output and similarly for the NOT B I have created over here with just one input of B and one output of B then similarly I used adder and over here for adder I have created X uh, using two three XORs and this is an XOR XOR and XOR the output of XOR are given to the XOR simultaneously and I have used used an inverter to show in an inverter because 
the adder circuit which I used is an active low so to make it active high I made it an inverter and show the output over here and for add circuit it should be active high and for the subtractor circuit it should be active low and for adder and subtractor similar circuit have been created this is for one bit and similarly the next carry is been added to the next alien this is the second one and you can see this is the third one and the carry is being carried to the next one and this is the fourth one I have created this is how you build an AL using the transistors and inside the hierarchical blocks I have an XOR gate which has been created earlier similar way I have created an XOR over here with two inputs and an output over here for every transistor we need to be having a DC biasing voltage to make the transistor turn on like 5 volts minimum is sufficient for turn on the transistor for 2 and triple 2 and whereas you look at for the AND gate you see this is the AND gate which we have created and I have utilized the same AND gate here for A and B and C as the output and for R0 say, or, and for R similar way I have created the R gates this is for one bit and simultaneously I created for, if you create for one of the hierarchical blocks it's automatically created for all the other hierarchical blocks you no need to do everything to and fro motion that's the advantage for the hierarchical blocks if one is created and you create with the same name automatically it creates with the same blocks automatically inside the hierarchical block that's it for the transistor as you can see the output for the transistor is same because I've used the same input so that you can clearly understand how it works for a 4-bit event. Thank you.